can be as weird as the wedding itself. For starters, the groom has to buy the girl a big, expensive engagement ring. Mom says the ring is a symbol of their love and commitment. But Dad says the ring is a symbol of how cheap the groom is. And did you know you need a marriage license to get married? And if you don't have one, I bet the police pull you over and say, All right, you two, let's see your marriage license. What? You don't have one? Well, I'm running you in. There are all the bridal showers. My mom went to my cousin's shower, and there were 20 people there. Gosh, 20 people in a shower. I bet no one could work off a good lather. tonight. What does the boogeyman look like? Just so I know who he is if I see him. He's this tall, with a big nose, and three ears, and funny hair. That's not the boogeyman, Tubby. That's Mr. Spankle, our science teacher. No, it's not. It's the boogeyman. Stop it, Tubby. You're scared. I mean, you're being silly. I'm scaring you. Lulu's afraid of the boogeyman. Lulu's afraid of... Whoa. I am not afraid of the boogeyman, and I'm going to prove it. Wow, Lulu. How did you prove you weren't scared of the boogeyman? Well, later that night... Lulu. I'm gonna teach that boogeyman a lesson. Yeah. You fell into the closet? Yes, Alvin. Now quit interrupting the story. Ah! Whoa! Gee, where am I? Run! Ah! It's the boogeyman! The boogeyman, huh? Just the fellow I wanted to see. Cobwebs, dusty furniture, paintings of old people. This isn't so scary. It's just like Grandma's house. Lulu! <laughs> and who are you supposed to be? Me? I'm the boogeyman. Who did you think I was? Mr. Spankle, our science teacher. Well, I'm not Mr. Spankle, the science teacher, okay? I'm the boogeyman. <laughs> Bad news, Boogie. I'm not afraid of you. Oh, yeah? Then, uh, how about spiders? <laughs> scary, scary, scary. That's just a rubber spider. It's not real. Besides, I'm not afraid of spiders. <laughs> All right, 
right, then, um, uh, how about the dentist? <laughs> I like going to the dentist. She's really nice. And last time, I didn't have any cavities. Whoa. No cavities? Gee, that's pretty good. Oh, 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 I know something every kid is afraid of. The dark. Scared yet? Hey, where'd you go? Look, a real spider. Ah, spider! Ah! Hey, look, I'm a dentist! I forgot to brush my teeth! Ah! Are you afraid of the dark? Turn on the lights! Turn them on! Turn them on! I'm sorry. I don't really like scaring kids. It's just my job. Well, why don't you get another job? With a name like Boogeyman, it's hard to find a job doing anything else. Well, there must be something you're good at. Yeah, there is. I love to dance. The Boogeyman! Of course! You can be a dance teacher! What a great idea! Well, you've been so nice, Lulu. If you ever want me to do you a favor, just ask. I don't care how long they send me to bed for, I'm not eating my broccoli. Broccoli tastes terrible. It tastes pretty good with ah! cheese! The boogeyman! More broccoli, Mom! And keep it coming! So you shouldn't be afraid of the boogeyman. He's not bad. He's just misunderstood. That was a pretty silly story, Lulu. And I don't believe any of it. But I'm not scared anymore. Thanks for the story, Lulu. You're welcome. Good night, Alvin. That Alvin. Can't fool him. The boogeyman. <laughs> There's this girl in my class who's so smart, she finishes her homework before she even gets home. And when she gets an A, she says it's because she didn't study. My teacher says she's just a natural. Gosh, if she's a natural, then all us kids who stay up late doing homework and study like crazy to get a lousy B minus must be unnatural. Yesterday, my grandma said to me, well, Lulu, that's food for thought. Isn't that great? Food makes you think. I wish I knew that before my big math test. I would have brought some takeout. But then, how come Tubby isn't a genius? Anyway, the good thing is the next time your parents tell you no more cake, just keep right on eating and tell them you're studying for an exam. Do -ba -do -ba -do. <gasps> Tattoo parlor. Wow! Look, another fella's about to get a tattoo. Hey, fellas, what you doing? Checking out this tattoo place. You know, you gotta be tough, like me, to get a tattoo. Glad you feel that way, Tubby. Here's the clubhouse money. We voted you should get the first tattoo since you're the president. Good choice. After all, you've got the most space for a really big tattoo. All right, fellas, I guess it's up to me to be your role model. The next time you see me, I'll be Tattooed Tubby. Oh, that hurts! <laughs> no way I'm getting a tattoo! Uh, uh, <laughs> I just remembered, uh, I forgot to floss my teeth. I'll get tattooed next Tuesday. Come back, Tubby! Come back, you 
coward! What do you say, Annie? How about us being the first kids on our block to get tattoos? Uh, can we be the first to have something else? Like a car? Wow. Look at all those designs. I don't think any of these will fit on me. Welcome, land lovers. I'm Sailor Dan the Tattoo Man. I fought pirates and swam the eight seas. I thought they were only seven seas. Er, uh, the eight seas where all the pirates hide. Well, what can I do for you? I want a tattoo, but I don't know which one. A tattoo's gotta fit a Swabby's personality. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a pretty good baseball player, and I love animals. Since you love critters, how's this? How cute! A dolphin! Tattoo away! Hey, fellas! You want to see our neat tattoos? Dog, who are you trying to fool? You don't got any tattoos. Oh, then what do you call these? Oh, look at wow. that! That's really neat. I sure want one. Tubby was supposed to get a tattoo, but he wimped out. I just want to make sure I get a tattoo that suits me. Yeah, like a big yellow chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it tomorrow, I promise. Oh, goodness, where are you boys hurrying to? We're getting us some tattoos. Just like Lulu and Annie. Tattoos? How awful, how dreadful. I knew that disgraceful tattoo parlor would cause trouble. The nerve of I that told my man. friend the other week. Oh, you know that well. Something she must be done. Oh, oh. I I said said me go down, down there and oh. ride him out on a rail. Let's get him! him. How dare he? Let's teach that bum a lesson! Oh. How about that? Looks like our moms want tattoos, too! Look, Mom, aren't our tattoos great? Oh. Oh. No! no. That, that monster! But, no, we must remain calm. We'll give Sailor Dan a chance to explain. Then we'll tear him to pieces! Uh oh, I think I know what the problem is. Come on, we gotta help Sailor Dan. And for the briny. Climb aboard! Shove off! Flipper the gibbet! Sailor Dan, you don't have to run! We'll explain everything to our moms! They're in no mood for listening. Hoist the anchor! Full speed ahead! Faster! 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 Yes! We're sinking! Oh no! Help! I can't swim! But you said you swam the eight seas! That was just a tall tale! I ain't no real sailor! Help! There he is! Yes, 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 yes. Get him! Ooh. Please, Mom, let me explain. Lulu, where is your tattoo? Mom, I wouldn't get a real tattoo. They're fake. They wash off with water. That's what I was trying to tell you. I wouldn't give a child a real tattoo. Sailor Dan, please accept our apologies. No need for apologies, madam. I put you through an ordeal. Is there any way I can make it up for you? Why, yes, there is something. Now we have matching tattoos. I don't believe it. Those women and kids get tattoos. And I wimped out. <laughs> I'm a disgrace. <laughs> Mr. Moppet is going to be so surprised when he comes home from work. Now that we've got tattoos, Annie, how about getting our noses pierced? Just kidding, everybody. If there's one drawback to being a kid, it's that you're always too short. You're too short to go on the roller coaster or to reach the cookie jar on the high shelf. So for all you short kids out there, here are Lulu's tips to making yourself seem taller. Number one, 
Give yourself a new nickname, like Stretch or Beanpole. Number two, wear really big clothes and tell everyone you've shrunk. Number three, when it comes to hats, big is in. Number four, keep your back straight, your chin up, and only talk to people when you're standing on a chair. And number five, if none of these work, get shorter friends. kids to a garden party, Lulu? Sure was, Annie. But it'd be even nicer if Wilbur wasn't gonna be there. Yeah, Wilbur can be such a drip. <laughs> drip, eh? <laughs> They're the ones who are going to be dripping. Sir, sir, is your truck blue? Blue? No, my truck is red. Then that's the one Officer McNabb's giving a ticket to. Is he nuts? I work for the city. <laughs> Everyone's invited to my mother's party except me. Gosh, Wilbur, that's terrible. Why? Sit down and I'll tell you. You sat in red paint. What? <laughs> Let's get him. <laughs> I don't think you want to do that, Wilbur. Sure I do. Because <laughs> you'll never catch me. Guess it's feeding time at the zoo. Gosh, Wilbur, what happened to your clothes? Beth, clothes gone. Well, we've got to go home and change for a party. Have a nice day, Wilbur. Wait, you can't leave me here naked? Please get me something to wear. I'll do whatever you want. I guess we could help. But only because we're extra nice people, Wilbur. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> ah! No way I'm gonna wear this. What if I run into the fellers? Hey, Lulu. Who's your new friend? Hi, boys. This is Mimi. She just arrived in town. Hi, Mimi. I'm Tubby. I sure hope you're going to Wilbur's boring party. What do you mean, boring? I... I mean, yes, I am. Well, you can go with me. No, me. I saw Mimi first. Yeah, no, but come I with me. Do try a fish and truffle, dear. Ah, oh, look, Wilbur's friends are arriving. But where's Wilbur? Hello, girls. How nice to see you. And who's this pretty little girl? This is Mimi. I hope it was okay for her to come. I thought Wilbur might like to meet her. How do Hello. You do? I'm sure you're right, Lulu. Cranberry, please find Wilbur. I bet he's still getting all dressed up for the party. Hey, hey Mimi. Mimi, can I get you something? Can Mimi? I get you some juice, Mimi? Some fish head truffle? How about a kiss? Hold your horses, fellers. Mimi has to freshen up now. Your mother's party sure is fun so far, Wilbur. Yeah, make us sit in wet paint for the next one, too, okay? I swear I'm never going to play a trick again. Master Wilbur? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, Wilbur, there you are. Son, I want you to meet Mimi. Now, where did that young lady go? Uh, maybe Mimi had to go. Maybe she's never coming back. Oh. Well, if she did, we'd just tell everyone where she lives and who she is. If you get my drift. Cranberry, find Mimi right this minute. Yes, sir. Hurry, hurry. Oh, lovely. <laughs> now, Mimi, you were supposed to freshen up, yeah. not mess yourself up. This is for you, my princess. Thanks. 
I sure could use that. Wow! I think I'm in love. Oh, Mimi, there you are, dear. Now, if only Wilbur were here. Cranberry, find Wilbur for me at once. Yes, madame. Ah, oh, there you are, Mimi, my rosebud. You must be hungry. Tubby, how about offering the most beautiful girl you know a tidbit? That's just what I'm doing, Gloria. These bits are for Mimi. Whoa! <gasps> if Wilbur were here, he'd show you Tubby Tompkins. Gloria, my angel. I mean, how about some angel cake there, fellas? Let me I'll get, get it. No, you won't. Out of my way! Oh, where is Wilbur when I need him? Oh. <laughs> up, up. Master Wilbur, your mother is looking for you. Are you doing something different with your hair? Yikes! Oh, Mimi, where are you? Oh, Master Wilbur. Oh, Mimi! We want Mimi. We want Mimi! Ah! I thought I was the prettiest girl in the neighborhood. Where's Wilbur? Here I am, Gloria. Who are you? What are you? At least I'm prettier than you. Ah, there you are, Wilbur. My son. I fell for Wilbur. Looks like everyone fell for him. Or is it her? <laughs> Ever had your parents dress you up in some ridiculous looking clothes and actually take you outside? For the whole world to see? Well, you know what they were up to. They were showing you off so all their friends could ooh and ah over you. You'd never see a kid do that. Ah, uh ah. -uh. When you're a kid and you're with your friends, the farther away your parents are, the better. Especially if you're dressed up in some stupid looking clothes. But if you really think about it, it might not be so bad showing off your parents to your friends. I know I'd sure like to put my parents in some of the get-ups they've made me wear over the years. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha